welcome back so in this final video of our configure, uh, configuring or customizing user experience we will look into accessibility so all the options were in for uh, to be windows more uh, personalized to a user's need the finally the accessibility accessibility is that if somebody um, is ease of access basically like uh, so some people they have uh, uh, their they want a bigger text so they can like they would like to work with bigger text than the normal person does or uh, like more than 100% or smaller for that matter as well so make text bigger and make everything bigger this one is that for the whole Windows experience and this one is probably just in here so you see and once you apply it it will be applied so so since this is a remote session that's why it's saying but it's a virtual machine so that's why it's saying so uh, like rather than for a user to having to change text on each uh, application they can change it from here and it will be uh, the text will be bigger across the board in their windows session that is what make everything bigger make everything brighter so some people like their screen brighter some don't like a, uh, some people like uh, uh, more contrast some like it more less contrast and all that or use night light so night light is a feature that basically turns the the screen to kind of orangish so and it filters out the blue light blue light is that uh, like when you at night cannot sleep blue light is uh, is a contributing factor for that so you that's why they came up with this that that's why some people cannot sleep because too much blue light uh, goes into the brain change the size of app text on other displays you can make the changes here uh, this one is where your old size and color of your cursor and mouse pointer so it's like uh, back in the day some some people I, I don't know where I went and the guy had uh, <laughs> about six inches long of my mouse pointer trail going wherever he he was clicking so some people like to do things change brightness automatically so it's like uh, more lights uh, the display will detect and it will brighten the screen uh, you most commonly see it on your phones when you go out in sunlight the screen gets brighter as soon as you walk indoors it goes a little bit dimmer show animation in windows i it's not a business thing show transparency in windows so transparency is uh if i could show you this is transparent you see it's kind of you are getting a black who uh so that's what's transparency so it's not solid um you see it's kind of how transparent this is so that's what they're talking about automatically hide scroll bar in windows scroll bars are the one that appear over here you see so once i go away it's hidden show notifications for five seconds so any notification that pop up uh, you show it for five seconds show desktop background image other colors and so cursor and pointers pointer gets bigger so they can see it right <coughs> what the pointer looks like so mine has a uh, dark uh, border to it this one is all dark this one will actually you see it turns this one stays black and if i am on black the, i have a white border but this one the that portion of the uh, pointer turns white and this one is a color one colorful one so you can pick a color
and your pointer is of that color I like to keep it this way make the cursors easier to see when typing so when you're typing uh, that's the cursor so if you see how the cursor is getting bigger I keep it still the same change touch feedback show visual feedback around the touch points when I touch the screen this is for the tablet make visual feedback for touch point darker and larger next we have magnifier magnifier is for the people uh, that the the text is too small and they want to make it bigger uh, there are some cool tricks in different apps that you can use like this one say windows key plus to turn on magnifier and escape to turn off magnify what I do is normally I use uh, in web browser and then all that uh, where it's supported I always try uh, control or um, like I go this way let's click here so I either go uh, control and mouse uh, wheel or control and what was it plus yes plus minus on the keyboard but what they want they are saying to use Windows key plus so if I press Windows key plus I get the magnifier right there and I am getting I'm seeing everything magnified and it's 200% but my mouse pointer is a little bit slow so it has a lens lens is that you see you go over it and it will show you not the whole um, screen is magnified all right so this is zoom out from 200 percent and to turn it off plus key minus <coughs> and to turn it off it was when windows key and minus it's not working so probably I have to turn it off from here and it went away oh escape I'm sorry make everything on my computer bigger again if it's uh, magnifying is not the solution uh, if you want everything permanently bigger then uh, it is that the text is too small on a portion there's no way for it to make it bigger uh, using traditional methods then you use magnifying other than that make everything big change zoom level to 100 um, everything is basically at 100 percent and then you can go less or more Th this is what i do i don't press alt i just press control and rotate the wheel on the mouse and it does the trick for me start magnifier after sign in if you permanently need it you can uh, magnifier you can turn this option on before sign in for everyone and these are some of the options magnifying view and this is the resize the lens with the mouse next we have color filters like some people they have uh, uh, for the color blinds this these are the options high contrast some people like it I my, my uh, I had a friend he liked this theme and I um, he turned uh, on my computer and I hated him narrator is that basically it narrates everything you put your mouse on so if I am to do it here narrator right? dialogue okay button alt plus o heads up narrator keyboard changes we've updated the narrator keyboard layout so it more close S narrator heading level one welcome to narrator this is narrator home where you can get help access your settings and learn about new features narrator is a screen reader that exiting narrator so this one is very useful for the people who have um, who are almost legally blind I actually had a call with the poor guy he was home alone he was trying his best to I don't remember what he was trying to do it was out of my scope but uh, um, as a courtesy I was helping him uh, 
and I really wanted him to uh, yes I remember now it was email setup he was uh, trying to get to his email and I gave him the password but he is the one that has to enter over there he was trying his best it was not working and I remember now for more that uh, he was presented with the captcha and all that so he, I could hear narrator all from his side he tried his best it didn't work out because he was stuck at captcha he could not basic uh, see the captcha and go through the next step so he had to wait for his wife to come back so these are the narrator option these are pretty extensive you can go through with them uh, hearing if you have hearing problems then you go through these and, and change settings close captioning for videos you see the um, whatever is being said and you see the text on the bottom here then it's interaction audio oh sorry uh, speech Windows plus H to start dictating so whatever you speak uh, Windows write it so I tried that back in I think office 2003 keyboard these are all the uh, options uh, that you can use to um, customize key or use the on-screen keyboard like sticky keys this one really helps when you're trying to press Windows key or shift or something something like that these are the mouse options control your mouse with a keypad so and I I don't know if you know or not but uh, from the keyboard from the keypad that uh, then keypad you can control your mouse as well and I control so this one is uh, near technology uh, I think you need a camera so it will basically uh, track your eye movements and from there you can uh, control the mouse through your eye and then you can click on it on different things and and you can use the text-to-speech to communicate text-to-speech is uh, it will um, <coughs> text will be narrated to you like whatever is written here it will be read aloud to you so these are some of the settings in ease of success accessibility that you need to know um, you can go deep further deep down check everything out uh, play with them so this is it for ease of access or accessibility uh, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one